Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Adize Ojiofu, also known under her war name of Na Obara. She operates groups of militants and bandits across West Africa and controls a sizable chunk of the rare earth trade out of that region. Now, she has turned her attention to securing her legacy through an alliance with West African strongman Richard Equensi. She is currently staying at the Himapan Hotel with her son, where she has taken over an entire floor. The client requests that you retrieve maps and files detailing the target's network in West Africa. You will need to locate these on the ground. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to a silent assassin walkthrough for the, the Warlord elusive target number 20. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. For this one we're going to bring along our default pistol, the remote breaching charges, the modern lethal syringe and we're going to start in 47 suite. Now, um, the times that you can actually achieve for this doing this particular walkthrough is, is it varies from time to time. Now I've added the clock at the top, rock, at the top of the, uh, the screen just for reference. But uh, you can follow it as you go along. So from the very start, we're going to use the um, the room service to call in the hotel staff, so we can take one of their disguises, and that we're going to use that for a little bit later on. We're also going to need a security uh, disguise as well, because we are going to need to retrieve some files along with killing the actual target itself. The target is in Ken Morgan Suite. It's surrounded, but she's surrounded by guards and uh, a lot of enforcers. So the only way really you can get in there quite freely is with a hotel staff disguise and that's the reason why we're going to use that one. For suit only I do not recommend doing that. Um, I may attempt it during the week but for now I'm just going to put out a silent assassin video and hopefully this will get you the uh, the silent assassin rating for this particular elusive target. It's not that easy but um, that's just unfortunately how some elusive targets are. So we've knocked out both of those hotel staff members there. We're going to open the door when we leave and close it when we, when we leave. That's what I should have said. We're going to close it when we leave because uh, just in case that the door stays open for whatever reason. But once we've got this hotel staff disguise right now, we're going to go and grab a, um, a master key card because we need to get into the security room because that's where the actual uh, files are. And, uh, it's, it's got five guards in there, so it is quite heavily guarded. You have been spotted by the camera there, which we're going to take out the cameras a little bit later on. You just have to ignore that for now. So what we're going to come over to this area over here. What we're going to do is just drop our pistol on the floor and turn on this vacuum cleaner. There's an enforcer in this area, so all we're going to need to do is just run around here and circle away from her uh, peripheral vision. She's going to see the gun on the floor, and uh, while she's doing that, we're actually going to go and grab the key card, the master key card that's just in the room behind us right now. Now she sees a gun on the floor, and she's going to have to alert a guard. Now the guard she tells is completely random, so you need to be aware of that. But we're going to turn off that vacuum cleaner right there, and we're going to go into the room onto the left and pick up the master key card. So because she goes off to tell a random guard, um, it, it might be different for everybody when it comes to doing the same strategy. But it's all the same basic idea. The only difference between this guard right here, who's an enforcer inside the security room, and the rest of them is the if you get she alerts this particular guard, the one that drops the master key card, uh, then you get a bonus by not having an enforcer in the security room. Otherwise, if it's any other guard at all, um, it's going to be an enforcer in the security room, which is easy to bypass anyway. So we just waited for this point right there after we took him out. He waited for the hotel staff member in the background to turn around before we dumped his body. And then we're going to put on his disguise. We're going to use the keycard to get into the security room. Again, uh, if it's a random security guard, uh, you will have an enforcer in here. But you just got to wait for him to turn around before we go approach the safe. And then you can put a breach charge on the safe, activate it. And then take the uh, files out of the uh, the safe. Again, if there's an enforcer in the room, he's very very easily bypassed. You can. Uh, it's very very easy. You don't you don't really need a much of a guide when in regards to get past him. He just turns around, and that's when you need to bypass him. It's very that it's just that easy. So once you've put the hotel staff to go back on, we're going to go down into this basement area because there's a hotel staff manager right there. She's going to be looking you straight at the door. So to avoid uh, getting spotted by her, we come around and top this route here. And we're just going to circle around and go back up to where Ken Morgan's suite is. Now at this point in time, um, on some occasions, uh, there can be a security guard, not a security guard, but like a general guy walking up the stairs. Make sure you use your instinct when you're around his area because he can see through this disguise. He's an, uh, you know, a super enforcer that can see through any, any disguise. There they are just on the stairs there. The general is just right ahead of them. So we're going to take this slowly because there's no need to rush this part. 
I decided not to just go full, um, you know, full scale speed for this one. That's the reason why I'm taking my time with this little part here. Now here's the general guy, one with the red beret. Now he's just going to head upstairs, and that's where we ultimately need to go as well. So we're just going to wait for him to go up the stairs first before we go up, go up um, before him. We're just going to follow him closely. He turns left in a way, so you ain't going to see us from this point. But you can wait at the bottom of the stairs until he goes all the way to the top if you wanted to. However, in this occasion, it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to go into the room to our right. The, uh, the target herself is going to have a conversation with her son. And when she's finished that conversation, that's when we can take her out, so... This is where we're going to wait. So on some occasions as well, she's going to be on this room completely by herself. Now, if you're here 10, 20 seconds uh, faster than I am, then you can easily take her out with a syringe and not have to worry about it. But because of the safety of the video and for the benefit of the video, I'm going to wait, make sure she finishes the conversation and everyone leaves the room first before we go ahead and take her out. And for the benefit of the video, I will skip to that actual point. So she's now uh, just fiddling around with her phone. The general guy or the, the son or whatever just left the room so we're gonna wait for her to turn around and then we're just gonna run up to her now and stab her with a lethal syringe. You can also alternatively um, use a emetic syringe if you want to. She does go into the bathroom so you can choose to do that option if you want to but um, the lethal syringe is just comp is completely fine. It's kind of a uh, fail proof when it, if you want to use that word. But once we come down those stairs you need to watch out for that uh, hotel staff member at the bottom of the stairs. She's an enforcer but we're heading over to this room here to take out the evidence of the, all the cameras that have been spotted us earlier. Now once we've done that, again, you just need to watch out for the random uh, enforcers that are around the area. All you're going to get is that female staff at the bottom of the stairs and the general dude with the red beret. And uh, they're the two enforcers that are in the area. That, apart from that, you don't need to worry about anyone else. Now, uh, what we're going to do now is just head all the way down to the stairs and head to where the pier is. And that's where we're going to take the speedboat and use the exit there. Now, again, once you come down to this restaurant area, you have an enforcer, which is a waiter. Again, watch out for him. He's just going to be to the left here. And uh, there's also the main person who's at the reception desk. He's an enforcer to everyone. But as long as we run past that section there, we won't have a problem of him spotting us or anything like that. So you don't need to worry about that. Alternatively, you can uh, take the left e uh, entrance, I should say, and uh, circle around to this point over here to avoid him completely. But once we've taken this speedboat exit, you'll get the uh, the challenge of the warlord popping up on the screen on your screen there, and you'll also get your silent assassin rating. So, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe here if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.